Alright guys, so this is actually Roblox, guys. We are playing The Conquerors, the new version, number three, guys. So I'll be showing you guys the basics and, and how to play. So let's get right into it. The first thing is your allies, guys. You want to be careful who you choose your allies with. I, I recommend having your allies that are near you. See how black is right here and red is over here. You would want to have them near you so it won't be as hard. Alright guys, so you guys might be wondering, how do you raise up your income? See see on your bottom left how it says cash and beside it, it shows like a $40 but in white guys. And it shows PM right under it. That's actually $40 per minute. How you change that is actually you're supposed to make nuclear plants or power plants. So nuclear plants give you fifteen dollars per minute and power plants give you ten so you want to make sure you actually build nuclear plants because they do benefit in the long run guys all right guys so you want to make sure you guys have at least a hundred p.m. if you don't you're not gonna make it through this round guys cuz it's very hard to work with like eighty dollars per minute but you want at least a hundred guys so that's why it's important to make either nuclear plants or power plants Alright guys, so, you guys might be wondering, how do you make a dog? So what you need is a construction yard. How you get one is making a construction soldier, or using the one you spawn with, and dragging it all the way here. Once you're done, you have to click construction yard, and I'll make in, and I'll build into it. Once it's done, it'll end up like this. And once you have that, you can start making your dogs. So how you make your dogs is you're supposed to have a lot of, it doesn't really matter, but you should have half sand and half water, and that's how you can make your docks. It should be show. It should be shown green, and that's how you know that's good to place it. And there you have it, guys. You have your dock. So this is all the ships that the docks has to offer. So the transport ship is almost like the transport plane. It could transfer soldiers or tanks, and you can see how much so soldiers or tanks are in it next ship is the oil ship the oil ship is almost like a power plant you will have to find a red spot in the water a black spot actually in the water and that's when you could place it there all you have to do is click um make oil ring onto the black spot and the other other ship is the gunboat guys so this is like a speedboat with a turret on it i think it's pretty cool guys so this is the destroyer the destroyer has an anti air turret on it so it's made for destroying planes but it could still destroy other units the aircraft carrier what it does it's almost like an airport guys but you can make a light plane heavy plane and your transport plane so i'll just make a heavy plane right now because it's better than a light plane so i would recommend getting the heavy plane because it, it's only for twenty dollars more so it's really worth it guys so with the heavy plane you can actually store well pretty much you can actually store tanks soldiers or even planes inside the boat I'll do a little demonstration here, guys. So once the plane actually finishes, finishes um, training, I guess. As you guys see, this is the plane right now. So what you have to do is have the plane near the boat, and then ha click on the boat. I'm clicking garrison troops, and as you guys see, the boat, I mean the plane, disappears inside the boat. And once an enemy comes, you can just release all of the planes you want. This is the battleship. The battleship is pretty much meant for other navy. It's not meant for planes because even though it could kill it, it takes a very long time for it to kill it, so it's pretty much meant for other navy guys, so that's why it's called the battleship. Alright guys, so with the command center, what it does is actually let you use buildings that your allies have. If you don't have that, you can't share buildings with it. So you want to make sure you keep this safe, because this is like your core of your base, I guess. And you want to build around it, because it actually has a defense on it. These little black things you see, these are like turrets. And they're actually going to shoot like lasers at the enemies, and I think that's pretty cool, guys. So you want to make sure you guys keep that safe, and it actually gives you $10 per minute, so it's almost like a power plant, guys. But it costs like $400 though. For the barracks, this is actually how you make your soldiers, guys. Not your tanks, planes, or navy. What the barracks ha does is actually allows you to make like medics, heavy soldiers, light soldiers, or even um, construction so soldiers or engineers. Engi Alright guys, so for the barracks, this is all the troops they have to offer. So this is the repairman. What the repairman does, it actually repairs all the damaged buildings that you have at your base. And what the heavy soldier does is actually attacks units in its close range. What the medic does is pretty much heals up your nearby troops. What your light soldier does, it's almost like the heavy soldier, but it has less health and less damage, but costs for but costs less than a heavy soldier. And what a construction soldier does is actually makes a construction yard, which you can make your base. So what you have to do is click control units and just click construction yard. 
I'm in construction, and that's how you make your construction yard, and then that's how you make your docks. And then an engineer is how you make your walls. So, what you have to do is get your two wall columns, put them together, and then have the sky right between them, and that's how you start making your walls. Red just build an airport. With the airport, you guys can make a light plane, heavy plane, or transport plane, or stealth bomber. But, the stealth bomber is not av available at the moment, because you'll need a research center, which I'll get into in a moment. Alright guys, so just now I just made the tank factory what the tank factory gives you is a light tank for seventy dollars heavy tank explosive tank construction tank or anti-air tank all right guys so this is what the tank factory has to offer so right now this is the light tank the light tank is almost like the light soldier it has less health less damage but it costs less than the heavy tank the heavy tank is the opposite of the light tank it's more uh causes more damage more health but it costs more money to make. This is the explosive tank, guys. So, the explosive tank actually blows up next to uh, enemy troops. So, you could use this tank for, like, close troops. Like, if an uh, enemy has, like, 10 soldiers, or just put that tank over there. And I'll be sure that that'll, that will either make them dead or the enemy will run away. This is the construction tank, guys. This is almost like the construction soldier. Just click construction construction and that's how you make your construction yard and this is the anti-air tank guys the anti-air ta tank is um the anti it pretty much destroys planes faster than a normal tank or a light tank does so this is like meant for destroying planes guys and that is all all of the tanks that the tank factory has to offer all right guys so right now i'm actually building the research center what it does it allows you to Research some troops like the artillery, the stealth bomber, walls, juggernaut, um, gives you more housing space if you make like a plane house, soldier house, or a tank house. This gives you more cap space for the amount of troop, for the uh, type of troop you're, you are making, I guess. So as you guys see over here, once the research center is done building, it'll give you an option. You go to control, you go to control units, and then click research interfa interface. And then as you guys see, this is what you guys could research right now. The <laughs>